Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I'm going to take a break from shaving videos right now because the channel is called Shaving and More, and we're going to talk about something different. Well, back to the shave. You can see I'm in need of one, but I'm saving it up for a special razor. As I said, let's talk about something different. The topic will be sunglasses. There we go. These are my Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. Probably some of the most popular sunglasses in the world. Top Gun, Tom Cruise, remember? Been around for a long time. Very popular, light. They do a great job. These are polarized, good eye protection. The only problem I have is these nose pads, they're made of silicone. I use silicone to spray on windows and doors to make them slip easier. These do not grip on my nose. What about you? I can't be the only one who feels this way. I put these on and if I have any bit of sweat or moisture, wetness on my nose, they slide down. They just slide right down. I'm constantly walking and I'm going like this and I keep pushing them back up and keep pushing them back up. I've adjusted the wires, I've tightened them, I've bent them, I've had people adjust them in uh, optical stores and then I leave and then start to sweat, it just slides right back down again. Very irritating. Now, another pair of sunglasses. These are my Oakley sunglasses. You see military, SWAT teams, police, baseball players wear these sunglasses. The best, most fantastic sunglasses I've ever worn. And by the way, back in the day, I used to buy really crappy sunglasses, $1, $5, $15 sunglasses. I used to sit on them, break them, ruin them. Where are they? I lost them. I don't know where they're at. But then I started, I bought an expensive pair. These are probably at least five years old, maybe eight years old. These are a good two, three years old. And since I paid money for them, hard-earned money, good hard-earned money, I keep an eye on them and I take care of them. I don't lose them. I don't sit on them. I don't break them. Except for that time when I had these on, and I raised up the overhead door at Shave Nation at the shop and I ran outside to get something and the door didn't go all the way up. It stopped halfway and I ran back in. I didn't run. I was walking pretty fast. I was wearing these glasses and I was looking down at something on the floor and I walked right into the overhead door right here and smashed this into my face and my nose was, the skin was clipped off. The nose was actually stuck in the bridge of the glasses up here. So not a fun sight, blood, everything. But the glasses, these are the same glasses. They did not break. They took it like a trooper. So that's the reason they're durable, rugged. That's why SWAT teams wear them. SEAL Team 6, everybody wears these glasses. They're great. The only thing is, I put these on. And you know, as far as fashion, you're not going to go too many places wearing these glasses. You might get some strange looks and... My family members, they tell me, uh-uh, you can't wear those where we're going. You know, you have, to, you have to do something different. So then I do this and it, okay, that's a little bit more acceptable. Uh, but back to these, the bridge on this, this is made of rubber right here. Some type of a rubber that grips. These are black, so it might be difficult to make this bridge out on the nose. But these pads here, they are very grippy. I can put these on and I can play sports, I can run. I'll go run three miles. These things don't slip. I'm wearing a baseball cap. It's 95 degrees. I'm sweating. They stay right where they're at. They don't move at all. I'll show a picture. I'll put a picture right up here. You can check it out. So, did a little research and I come to find out that Ray-Ban and Oakley are owned by the same company, Luxottica. I think it's an Italian company. Sounds like an Italian company, but it's one of the largest manufacturers of uh, eyewear in the world. They own both companies. So why would not Oakley, someone from Oakley, please tell somebody from Ray-Ban, hey, can you use this rubber here on these Ray-Ban sunglasses here so that get rid of the silicone and they stop slipping down my nose because it is so freaking irritating when that happens and you have to keep going like this and pushing them up. Okay, that's my rant for right now. I did find a bit of a solution, but it's although a temporary solution. It's called Nerd Wax, right here, Nerd Wax. I just came across it doing a search for 
grippier nose pads or Ray-Ban slipping, that sort of thing. This popped up and what it is, I'll show you. It's a little tube. I contacted the company and I said, your product sounds interesting. I read about it, I checked it out. Can you please send me a sample? So they sent me some samples and I thought, this is a pretty cool product. If it works, it might be worthwhile to stock at Shave Nation to add to our other 2,000 products. So I got a sample and I tried it. And I wouldn't put anything out there unless I tried it myself and it worked. This works. It's not a permanent fix, it's a temporary fix. You, all you do, here it is. You remove the cap, you screw this up. It looks like a little baby chapstick. This is very thin and small, it will fit in any pocket. Very easily concealable, you can carry it with you. You just take this and it is angled so you can put it right on the, the nose pads right here. If you have difficulty doing it that way, on an angle, you can just spin it up further, like so, and then run the whole side of it right along the nose pad like that. So that might be easier for you. And just apply it. I'm going to apply it that way, this way, just so you can see both ways. And you get, if you get it on your, uh, on your lenses, it comes off with a microfiber cloth. You can just wipe it off, no problem. So I did one. Let's do the other one. You can put it on there thick, even if it's uh, a little bit gooey where you can see bits of it, it still works. So here we go. I've got it applied. It's on the nose pads. I put it on my nose. It holds like crazy. It doesn't go anywhere. Even if my face is a little bit wet, sweaty, it still holds. So it's pretty amazing. The only thing is it won't last forever. It'll wear off eventually. But if you keep this in your pocket, this little bad boy, you can just reapply as needed, which is pretty sweet. I've tried it. It's worked for a full day for sure. And then the next morning there will still be some on there. I just reapply a little bit more and back at it. You're good to go, ready to conquer the world. And you don't have to keep going like this, pushing it up. It just stays. So after I tried it and I saw that it worked, I did some more investigating. They have a couple other products. They have magic drops which you just put on a cloth, which you can also get a nerd wax cloth, like a microfiber, small cloth, put a drop or two on there, and then you can clean your glasses. They come out sparkling clean, crystal clear. And also they have a fog block cloth. This is it. You just a couple drops of water on this cloth, clean your glasses. It prevents them from fogging up. That's when I decided these products are great, especially this nerd wax. And I decided to carry it at Shave Nation. So, if you want to pick up any of these items, click down below the video where it says show more and you can, you can grab the Nerd Wax right there or go to ShaveNation.com, enter Nerd Wax, N-E-R-D-W-A-X in the search box, it'll pop right up and you can check it out. We also have the microfiber cloth, we have the fog block cloth, you can get that as well. We also have the magic drops, we just picked all these up. I wouldn't put anything in the store and I wouldn't recommend it unless I tried it myself personally and it worked. So I can tell you that this stuff works and you'll be pleasantly surprised. It doesn't have an odor. It seems waterproof because I think that the ingredients are mostly natural. I don't know if it's beeswax or what it is. I haven't really read the ingredient list, but uh, you can check it out. Check it out on the website. We'll have the ingredients there for you. All right. I hope this helps. And you know, like I said, not all about shaving, but a lot of gents wear glasses. A lot of people wear sunglasses, almost all of us. I feel like this is a pretty reasonably priced, pretty cost effective, pretty easy fix for the sliding Ray-Ban aviators. I was like a crazy person with this stuff. I went around, I said, let me see your glasses. Let me see your sunglasses. I tried it on all different types of sunglasses, not just the Ray-Bans. The types that don't have the nose pads, it's a solid plastic coming down, rub it on both sides of those. It works fantastic. Everybody was like, whoa, this stuff really works. I like when a product does what it says it will do. This will work for you until time comes along when Luxottica tells Oakley to tell Ray-Ban to use this rubber on these sunglasses to make them grippier. That's my word, grippier. That's it. Silicone iPads, no go. Rubber iPads or whatever these are made of, that's the way to go. Can't we merge these two together? Let's make this happen. Who do we need to speak to? <laughs>
Do me a favor before I head out, smash that subscribe button down there, and then ring the bell up there, and then click all. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Actually, I think these sunglasses are 10 or 11 years old. If you check out my outro that's going to come right now, you'll see me wearing these sunglasses. So these things I've had for 11 years. So divide that by the cost of the sunglasses, it probably comes out to a penny a day. So it's a good investment. Not as good as Bitcoin, but it'll do. I'm out. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.